if you look at the build number that came with developer beta 10 of Marquis pixel you can see that it has a g at the end now this g that you see here stands for golden which means the next release is going to be the full release of macOS Pixel. Yep, it's been about two days. Time does fly for real. And I've been using macOS Pixel Developer Beta 10 for about two days. And this is a follow-up video of some new features and some other bugs that I saw. In addition to my initial video that I did, which I'll leave above here. Now, that first part was actually a joke. Shout out to Bernard for finding a cool joke when it comes to how Apple is releasing these betas of macOS Pixel because they're going from a C, a G. It's like, you know, it's like bouncing up and down. So let's now look at some new features and changes that I managed to find after two days of using beta 10 of macOS Pixel. The first one has to do with widgets. If your Mac is connected to an external monitor and you pull up the widget screen on beta 10 of macOS Pixel, this is now showing. And not only that, but depending on the size of your external or secondary monitor, which you know I couldn't carry it with me here, but depending on the size of your monitor, widgets are now actually not taking the whole screen. When you go to your edit widget section, which is a good thing with macOS Pixel. Now, another change that I noticed, which is sort of perhaps a bug that is here with Beta 10, has to do with some GIF. Now, if you go into your system preferences and then go to the trackpad section, you notice that you know the GIF that we use to have perhaps indicating when you select a specific function, you know, like zooming in or double tap or triple tapping and so on, it's no longer here with Beta 10 of macOS Pixel. On Beta 9, it was there and on Catalina, it's there. So perhaps this is a change or a bug. If you use Microsoft apps, you'll be happy to know that finally Microsoft apps are working with Beta 10 of macOS Pixel unlike Beta 9. The App Store has also been updated once again with Beta 10 of macOS Pixel. So if you update and open your App Store for the first time on the Mac, you'll notice that you will get a new pop-up screen, you know, telling you of the changes and what's new in the App Store. So that's also another change that I noticed with macOS Pixel Beta 10. YouTube now has 4K video, but unfortunately videos aren't playing in YouTube using Safari, which makes it almost pointless, but there's actually a fix to this. And shout out to Patel, one of my subscribers who commented the solution in my previous video. What you want to do if videos aren't playing for you uh, on YouTube in Safari, just go to the top section there or your top menu bar, and then go to where you s it says develop, and then go down to where it says experimental features, and then scroll down and select VP9 decoder now if next to your vp9 decoder option has a check mark that means that vp9 decoder is on and this is why you actually are able to see 4k videos in safari if you aren't able to play videos in safari on beta 10 then uncheck the vp9 decoder by just clicking it again and then restart your safari and then visit youtube and now videos will be able to play on safari the downside to this though, since we've turned off VP9 decoder, you actually won't be able to play videos in 4K, which is, you know, the downside to this. But if you wanna watch the regular 1080p, then just turn off VP9 decoder. And just keep in mind that if you make changes, either you want to turn on or turn off VP9 decoder, for the changes that you've made to take effect, you need to close your Safari and reopen it again in order for the changes to take effect so that's a fix and shout out to patel now i keep getting comments with regards to safari that i'm unable to translate safari or web pages in safari that aren't in my native language now i actually did a video on it and i will leave it again on top of uh, this video somewhere here and you can click on it it will take you into the steps you know that you need to take in order for you to be able to translate safari pages as with beta 10 it's working it's a matter of just setting your system language and it's something that's very easy to do by the way youtube tells me that over 93 percent like 
93%. That's like a distinction or an A when it comes to school grades of the people that watch this channel and subscribe. So if you are enjoying this video and like this type of content, a sub to the channel will be nice and will be pushing us to new heights. When it comes to the menu bar with beta 10, you now have an option to actually show do not disturb. And I noticed that do not disturb actually shows up when it's enabled. So if it's off, the icon actually won't show up in the top menu bar. And not only that, but if you go into the settings also and go into the menu bar and dock settings, you can also show recently played or now playing a uh, playlist it's a new section that is there with beta 10 so it's something that you'd want to go into your system preferences and check out as it's also a new thing that's here with macOS pixel beta 10 also something that some people are saying is new with beta 10 although i think i had this like ever since i can remember if you press your power button on the mac and you have beta 10 it's actually taking you to the lock screen, which is something that some people are seeing for the first time, but for others, this has been there for like a long time. Now, let's talk of the bugs and issues that are still there when it comes to beta 10 of macOS Pixel that I found in addition to those that I found in my initial video. The first bug that's there has to do with AirPods Pro when it comes to auto switching. Now, this is something that's a hit and miss on beta 10 and on beta 9 it was like that it's true that with beta 10 we got some new animation when it comes to auto switching and automatic handover something like that and also when you connect airpods pro and airpods it's able to differentiate the different icons but auto switching it's still a hit and miss at this time with beta 10 and it seems to affect more users that have the airpods pro unlike those that have the airpods first gen or second gen with beta 10. Now, VirtualBox is also not working. The one that's developed by Oracle on this beta 10, it's, you know, like up and down. I don't know if it's something that's affecting all users or all Macs at this time, but you know, just watch out if you use VirtualBox. And also there's an issue when it comes to Firewire on beta 10. And apparently some people are saying it's been there since from like beta four or beta five. So yeah just take note of these issues now when it comes to battery performance i have some good news i'm getting on my mac here like about eight and a half hours to 10 hours of screen on time on battery usage and then my mac will give me the prompt that my battery is low my mac is still in a good condition when it comes to the battery health or the battery cycles that i have i currently have 86 percent of my battery health which is good and on beta 9 i had 86 percent however when i upgraded from beta 8 to beta 9 i lost two percent so it seems that there was a recalculation there that put my uh, battery health to 86 percent and it seems like you know it's staying on 86 percent but battery performance I'll, i'm happy when it comes to beta 10 of macOS pixel now when it comes to performance just like i did initially i did run geekbench scores but when it comes to like just the overall performance i would say there's not much of a change when it comes to beta 9 and beta 10 it's more or less the same although beta 10 looks a little bit stable so i ran geekbench scores again just to see if there was like an increase or decrease from the initial video that i did but they are just like this they are constant and the scores that i got with this follow-up video for cpu performance single core i got a score of 933 and when it comes to multi-core or multi-threaded performance on this follow-up video i had a score of 3461 and initially i had a score of 3486 so slight decrease but you won't be able to tell the difference here now when it comes to gpu performance i did run again geekbench scores just to see if there's a difference and on this follow-up video i got a score of 17,098. and initially when i updated to beta 10 i had a score of 17,692. so there's a slight decrease but again this is something that you won't be able to tell now I'm so excited for this next segment because it's something that I, I, I'm actually looking forward to and I can't wait to share this with you. It has to do with the release of macOS Pixel. So 
this is the thing. Apple is actually expected to hold an Apple Silicon event for the first bunch of, you know, Macs that are going to have the, a new Apple Silicon chip. And that date is actually supposed to be on the 17th of November this year which is you know not too far off today is the 16th so just like a month away and not only this but the news even gets better as the announcement for this apple silicon event is supposed to take place on the 10th of november so this is going to affect how macOS pixel is going to officially be released if this is true because you know these are reliable sources john prosser himself has said this he has a good track record of about 75 percent nine to five mark has also said this and they have a good track record so we could sort of see this apple silicon event on the 17th and the announcement will be made on the 10th of november this year this is going to affect the release of macOS pixel just like we saw with the iphone 12 event the iphone 12 event was actually announced on the 6th of october and then that whole week nothing was released right so beta 10 was actually supposed to be released on that during you know during that week but then because apple wanted to keep the hype up for the iphone 12 that's why macOS pixel skipped a week so the same with macOS pixel when they announced the date for the next apple silicon max which at this time seems to point to november 10th there's no update that is expected within that week, just like they did for the iPhone 12. But then on the 17th of November, when the event takes place, then we can sort of expect, you know, the release of macOS Pixel, either, you know, the next coming hour after the event completes or the following day, just like we saw with the iPhone 12, as after the event, the next day we got a bunch of new releases. So basically that's what we expect at this time. I'm quite confident with this date and you know it's unfortunate that compared to Catalina it's a bit delayed but you know I can't wait to see macOS Big Sur and the new Apple Silicon Max. So that's about it for me. Now whether you should update or not to beta 10, I really feel like yes it's a good update so far compared to beta 9 it's like it's like this high so i believe that if you're already on beta 9 of macOS pixel or are already testing some other beta version of macOS pixel this won't kill you and it's a step in the positive direction when it comes to betas and it's always good to install something like this on your secondary mac just in case you know something happens but that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe down below I have some exciting content when it comes to Apple Silicon Mac and macOS Pixel. I think, yeah, that's the compressor that just kicks on. I, that's about it for me, guys. Uh, stay safe, and I will definitely see you in the next video very soon. Peace.